What works for someone on steroids or TRT will not work for someone natural. Who needs to train more? It's the naturals, because they need to trigger maximum protein muscle synthesis. This is where the body turns amino acids into muscle. That's great news. It's not so great when you realize that they stay elevated for only 24 hours. Slightly more, slightly less, depending on the workout. You've got to keep them elevated in the muscle that you want to grow. Therefore, you have to train multiple times a week the same muscle two or even three to four times a week for the same muscle. And basing your workouts around compound moves like squats, presses, and deadlifts, this is going to yield the best results for you. Because if you don't, you might even lose the adaption and plus you're not stimulating any growth. So now you know, naturals need to trigger muscle protein synthesis and you do this by training. And of course, enhanced lifters are going to get even more results once they increase their frequency of training. Whether you're natural or you're enhanced, this video is going to increase muscle protein synthesis. It's going to be a global spread of gains. Hit that like button now and know that you are worldwide helping natural, the enhanced guys don't really need it, but natural guys increase their levels of protein synthesis. Who should do more cardio? It's the guys who are enhanced. I help my clients run a safe cycle and stay healthy, and to do this, I look at different health markers before and after their cycle. We look at red blood count, liver, kidney, protein, inflammation CRP scores, and a few other things. But the two most important things that you can do on cycle is to keep your blood pressure down and your blood lipids cholesterol under a safe level. And cardio can go a long way to keep you healthier for longer if you're enhanced. Low intensity, steady state cardio is good for improving vascular health and lowering blood pressure. Taking a look at volume now, a lot of lifters out there, natural or not, believe that the more volume that you do, the more sets that you do, the more you will grow. And to some extent, if you are enhanced, that can be true. But if you're natural, doing too much volume is going to kill your progress. You need to remove everything that's going to inhibit protein muscle synthesis. Frequency high, volume high. That leads to high levels of cortisol your worst enemy if you're natural. Because cortisol is going to increase the rate of protein muscle synthesis breakdown. It's a nightmare. You do more volume, you're simply releasing more cortisol and that's going to have a negative impact on your muscle growth. More volume is a greater demand on the body. You're burning through glycogen stores. Therefore, a natural guy must train more often and must train harder because he cannot afford to have high levels of cortisol and short periods of protein muscle synthesis by doing more volume in his training sessions. Whilst talking about volume, I haven't mentioned the enhanced guys because steroids actually block the cortisol receptor. They can train harder and more often to a certain degree because they're not affected by the high cortisol. Exercise selection now. I train at one of the best gyms in the world because of its equipment and I still see some guys doing dumb ass exercises. And if you're natural, you cannot afford to be doing this. You need to be very smart with your exercise selection and programming. They need to give you a high muscle to stimulus ratio whilst not fatiguing your body too much. For guys on gear, pre-fatiguing is key. That means you want to tire a muscle group out with an isolation exercise before you then hit a compound exercise. You need to do this, especially if you've had injuries or you're 50 or over, because your joints are not going to appreciate you constantly piling more weight on all your compound lifts. This is going to affect your joints. By the way, if you are coming up to 50 and you want to mitigate connective tissue issues, anabolics like growth, Anavar or Deca are really gonna help you. No longer will you wake up the next day and feel you've been hit by a truck. Intensity, as we know, natural lifters, if they want maximal growth, they need to really go hard in their working sets compared to enhanced guys. And if you can't do as much volume to fatigue the muscle fibers during your sets, you then need to do it another way 
And this requires you pushing yourself harder during those small amount of sets that you've selected to do. I want you to be hitting six to eight reps, or if you're into strength, three to five reps. Long rest periods so you can lift maximally. Naturals build strength slowly. This is a good thing. Their central nervous system, their tendons and their muscles are going to develop at a slow rate and this means they're going to be at a less risk of injury. But what about enhanced guys? This is where their kryptonite lies. Everyone has a weakness and for enhanced guys, it's getting strong too quick. Their muscles are growing faster than their tendons. They need a completely different training program to a natural. All steroids are highly androgenic. This means it allows your brain to recruit more muscle fibers when you lift. What is the result of this? Superhuman strength. And as you are constantly lifting more and more each week, you need to watch out. So while you should progressively overload each week, you need to be conservative and use phases. It's literally a curse. You are getting too strong too quick. Beware of this. So don't want you getting pulls or strains or aches because you've jumped your bench up 50 kilos inside a month. Warm-ups are so important. Let's say you're doing two top sets, you might go in and do four or five warm-ups so you're ready for your big sets because you're so strong compared to someone who's natural. So the enhanced guys, you wanna go for 10 to 20 reps per set. Go for a slightly higher rep range if you're enhanced because this is going to be safer. Because for someone who is already at a high rate of muscle protein synthesis and you start doing higher reps, this is going to stimulate the blood to send nutrients to the muscles. These kind of high reps are not good for a natural. Even doing drop sets, rest pause, or any intensity sets for a natural is a definite no-no. Because you'll be using too much fuel, burning through too much glycogen, and your cortisol levels will be in the stratosphere. And that is exactly how I see most naturals out there training, unfortunately. Boys, what have I missed? Let me know. We're looking for the training differences between someone who's on steroids and someone who's natural. So if you have any ideas that you've come across or you've experienced, let me know and put it in the comment below. I want this to be a resource where natural and steroid guys can come in, read the comments and actually get some real value out of this. And incidentally, if you are still natural, I'm very interested to know, how are you still natural? For me personally, I went over to the dark side because I was sick of just putting all my effort into doing the food prep and doing the training and seeing guys do half the work with shocking nutrition. Some of them used to come into the gym eating bags of crisps and they were still out benching me. I was just sick of having no results, but also I was just sick of looking in the mirror and not seeing the man that I wanted to see, not seeing the body that I admired. But now things are different. Now I'm enhanced. When I look in the mirror, I don't even see a man looking back. I see a beast. Beast! The bottom line here is, what is going to work for someone enhanced is not going to work for someone natural. And the reality is, this is a complete mismatch. The training differences between someone natural and enhanced is like watching a gorilla fight a mouse. From my personal viewpoint of being on gear, currently I'm on DECA, 400 milligrams a week, and TESS, 400 milligrams a week. My protein synthesis is through the roof, no cortisol, I eat the right foods, I'm getting leaner and bigger and stronger each week. I'm eating around about 4,000 calories a day. Right now I feel pumped, full and super confident. But why is this? Because I'm on top of my stuff. I know what I'm doing on cycle. Being on higher test levels, I have insane energy. I get up at 3.30 because I have the capacity to do so. Everything that my body takes in and absorbs, it seems to do it in a more effective way compared to me being natural. Because look, if you raised your testosterone levels, your body would become a machine. Wouldn't you want to optimize that machine and see how much you can get out of that machine? It's a no-brainer to take full advantage. You'll have more energy, zero aches and pains. You'll be developing muscle and recovering at 10 times the rate that you normally would do or would have in the past. It's important to stress though, I keep my dosages conservative as I'll never sacrifice my health. And if you do it right, you're going to be shocked because your body's gonna to respond to everything. You're gonna be on point. But here's the thing, just because you can be a bit lazier, get away with a little bit more because you're enhanced, doesn't mean you should do, bro. Because how you do one thing is how you do all things. If you want your first cycle created intelligently for you, 
and in a way that's not going to jeopardize your health, where you can just focus on maximum gains and minimal side effects, book in for a cycle consultation and sourcing down in the description box below. If you haven't got the gear, I can give you the right source in your country to find it. Next video coming up is going to be on one of how to actually find it, incidentally. There's three ways that most guys get hold of their steroids, so watch that video and I'll see you in two seconds. And by the way, whether you're natural or enhanced, I love you, bro. I love this channel. I love the comments that are coming on a daily basis and I really appreciate you showing up.